Hello and welcome to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. Today's beer is from Mino and it is called Mino Dunkelweizen. And Mino is a long standing brewery in Osaka and uh, in the Mino, Mino city in Osaka prefecture. And their symbol is the, the monkey, or at least on several, many of their beers, they put a monkey on it. And uh, um, the monkey is uh, to represent Mino, which uh, has monkeys in the mountains nearby. In Mino Park, you can find lots of uh, uh, monkeys. And they were formed in 1996. They've been around for all that time. Uh, they're basically run by three sisters. And uh, they are quite well known uh, throughout the country. And uh, they they had a kind of rocky start. Uh, their father bought the uh, business for them and told them they were going to run it. They had no experience, but they uh, quickly, you know, became reasonably good brewers. They made extract brews until 2002, uh, and then switched over to all grain uh, brewing. Uh, and they've become quite successful. Uh, they do a lot of events throughout the year, or they used to before coronavirus. Uh, uh, the head brewer uh, apparently said she did over 100 events in, in the year. Um, and uh, they have a line of uh, uh, regular beers, five regular beers. They have a Pills, a Pale Ale, a Weizen, a Stout, and a Double IPA. And the Double IPA, uh, when it's on, is one of the most exceptional beers you can get in Japan, really. Two locations to drink their beers in downtown Osaka. Uh, one is called Beer Belly, and uh, it's been around for a long time. And the other is uh, Beer Belly Tenmabashi in, a, in a, another location in Osaka. You can also drink in their uh, Mino Beer Warehouse location as well. Okay, well, let's try this beer. Uh, this is Mino Dunkelweizen. Great beer. It's only got one review, and that is at 3.4. Uh, Untapped has 51 ratings, and that is at 3.79, a bit higher. So this is a 6 percenter. Uh, Dunkel Weizen, and let's try it out. Okay, it's a rather dark reddish brown color with a kind of fat head of maybe <clears throat> two fingers or so. Aroma. It's got the kind of uh, light, what expect you expect, kind of sourish, sourish sort of uh, flavor, sourish, chocolatey, banana, clove. I'm just ticking off the uh, elements here. Yeah. So it it, it uh, definitely is a Weizen, and it's got the dark element to it to, uh, too as well. Some light roast. Flavor very similar, um, very mild, uh, sort of banana, very sweet in mid palate, some cloviness. Uh, yeah. yeah, so the esters that come up from this are a little bit different from a regular Weizen. Uh, they have a kind of tang in the sinuses that, you know, tell you it's not just a Weizen, it's a Dunkel Weizen. And, Yeah, mild roast note. Gets rather sweet in mid palate, and then sort of fades out. I don't know the IBUs on this. It must be quite low. Hmm. Interesting. Pleasant. Um, yeah, they did a good job on this. It's very clean. Uh, it's not exceptional. It has no great uh, palate changes, but from the, a beer like this, you don't expect that many. Uh, changes throughout the palate. I think you just want a nice, solid, tasty drink, and that's what this one does. Yeah, very nice. Uh, uh, yeah, so go out and try this one if you happen to see it. Uh, it's called Mino Dunkelweizen. It's a 6% uh, dark, Weiss, uh, dark Weiss beer from uh, Mino. So give them a go. And uh, that's it for today. This is quick and short. Um, 
uh, if I didn't say it uh, again, this is for Gordon, who uh, passed away yesterday or passed away about a week ago, and uh, many friends in my area are talking about uh, what happened with him. And uh, he was a great guy, an intelligent guy, uh, uh, rather intense, and uh, uh, yeah, I don't want to say any more. Anyway, here's for you, Gordon. Cheers. And here's to you. I hope you're staying healthy, stay well, take care, and uh, please leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've, I've just got a whole raft of beers in that I'm going to be looking at, and I'll be doing a, uh, a joint review with one of the best, uh, the top beer experts in Japan for craft beer soon. So we'll be looking at some very uh, special beers, and I hope you're there for that. Take care. Bye-bye.